<laughs> so next up, we have an illegal immigrant in Maryland was hired to register voters. Montgomery County Police have implicated a former Casa de Maryland employee. That's an organization that assimilates, uh, at least in theory, immigrants who are legal. But ask, actually, Casa in Maryland integrates folks who are here illegally as well and uh, was living in the United States illegally for an assassination-style shooting that left a man badly injured. Darwin Rinaldi Cruz Rosa, 20, in Hyattsville, Maryland, was charged with attempted murder and uh, second-degree murder as well, and first-degree assault and a bunch of other things. But the takeaway from this is just not that he was here illegally, folks. It's also that he was hired by Casa de Maryland and paid to register voters. So clearly, I'm sure his English is very broken. Um, I really shouldn't assume that, but I'm assuming his English is broken. So he's probably going to Spanish-speaking communities and registering other folks who are illegally present as well. I mean, what do you guys think about this? I mean, for me, here's the connection. As long as the Democrats, in, as, a, as, a, as a platform, continue to preach social welfare programs and uh, con government control, increased government control of the economy, they're gonna need to continue to have individuals like this be available to vote for them. Absolutely. To, to further their agendas, because I mean- yeah. It's kind of like stealing elections, right? You know, like what yeah. Hillary Clinton just said. <laughs> Cradle to grave care, that's all they want. Yeah, it's, I mean, they just want people dependent. I mean, it's really sad, first of all, that the, fo the guy is here illegally, but he's not just you know an illegal immigrant. He's This particular individual is a crook, and I just want to make it clear to everybody, we don't believe here as a group that, that immigrants you know, are criminals and so forth, but we do believe that if you're here illegally, you should have to, uh, you should have to be returned to your own country and enter illegally. But here's an individual who is actually trying to murder somebody, and he's registering. I'm just sorry. I just feel like folks out there who are listening would, would get so upset over the idea that someone here is illegally and they're registering voters. I mean, what does the what do the folks who are at the registrar vote, voters, you know, do when they get these applications? I mean, do they notify ICE? <laughs> no, I, I, I don't I think Maryland participates in that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they don't. I'm sure California doesn't. I'm sure there are a lot of other states don't. But here's an example where, of course, we always hear, well, there's no voter fraud, right? Hillary Clinton says, well, there is voter fraud. It's only Donald Trump. We're here, and of course, it's not true because I don't think Donald Trump was smart enough to steal an election. No. Um, but <laughs> here's an example of someone, uh, an, an, an actual group of people are working hard and organized to be able to undermine elections in the state of Maryland and elsewhere, I'm sure, because I'm sure Casa de Mar Casa. That organization exists in other state and other states as well. I believe so, and there's pockets throughout. I know, I know throughout the state of Maryland and probably other states as well. I'm not too familiar, but there are pockets of little localities that are expanding voting rights to you know illegal citizens on certain issues and certain elected positions in the local level. Um, so this is not going to go away. And we talked about that in a prior episode, of maybe a month or two back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, this is Mark Fisher with Mark and the Millennials. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.